do you have what it takes to defeat Mark the Beast Labet and his fellow trivia geniuses? Find out tonight on Masterminds. And here's your host, Brooke Burns. Hello and welcome to Masterminds, a game of trivia, smarts, and strategy. Let's meet our challengers. She's an Etsy shop owner that once spent the summer traveling with a circus. Wow, from Teaneck, New Jersey. Say hello to Dorian. He's a development director for a nonprofit health clinic that loves baking and fundraising. Please say hello to Philip. Welcome. And he's a marketing consultant and martial arts enthusiast that loves pop culture. From East Orange, New Jersey, put your hands together for David. Welcome, challengers. Are you ready to meet our masterminds? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Great, because they're right over here. <laughs> He's a world-class chess player, as well as being a trivia king. And for most challengers who come up against him, it's checkmate. Welcome, Jonathan Corbla. <laughs> She's got degrees in anthropology and American civilization from Brown University. And she's a world-class trivia master. It's Muffy Morocco! <laughs> from dominating trivia challengers in the US, England, and Australia on the chase to making his mark right here, it's time to give a warm welcome to the legend himself, Mark the Beast Lovett! <laughs> welcome, masterminds. Muffy, how do you feel about playing today? I feel ready, and you know what else I'm ready for? For somebody to win a lot of money. But the thing is, you gotta go through us, and that ain't easy. <laughs> are you guys up for the challenge? Oh yeah. Definitely. Yes. Yes. I think they are. I have a good feeling here. <laughs> Here's how we play. I'll ask you a series of trivia questions over three rounds of escalating difficulty. At the end of the game, the highest scoring challenger will face the highest scoring mastermind in the ultimate trivia showdown for $10,000. That's right. If a challenger wins, they'll come back to compete again. And if a challenger wins two times, then they will be crowned a mastermind and could take the place of one of our masterminds on this stage. Right, Jonathan? It's like winning the lottery twice. Don't get your hopes up, guys. <laughs> In round one, there are seven subjects, each with a corresponding question. All challengers and masterminds will play. Correct answers are worth 100 points. Good luck, everyone. And the first subject is food. What star of Desperate Housewives hosts the CNN food travel show Searching for Mexico? Marsha Cross, Terry Hatcher, or Eva Longoria? And the correct answer is Eva Longoria. Challengers? Yes, 100 points across the board. Great start. Masterminds. 100 points for you as well. And the next subject is grammar. In the sentence, I have been a mastermind since the day I was born, what part of speech is the word since? An adverb, a conjunction, or a preposition? And the correct answer for 100 points is a preposition. Challengers? Yeah, well done, Philip and David, 100 points apiece. Masterminds. Oh, come on! <laughs> no points on that one. All right, the next subject is toys. The Barbie Liberation Organization made headlines in the 90s when it gave hundreds of Teen Talk Barbie dolls whose voice? G.I. Joe, Hillary Clinton, or Yogi Bear? The correct answer is G.I. Joe. Challengers, how about this one? Well done, David! 100 points for you. Masterminds. Well done, Muffy, for 100 points. So this group stealthily went into toy stores and they got some G.I. Joes and some Barbie dolls and they took the voice boxes from each and swapped them. Uh, 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 so G.I. Joe ended up saying things like, let's plan our dream wedding. And Barbie ended up saying things like, eat lead, Cobra. Thank you, Muffy. The next subject is animals. Among fish, male haddock seek prospective partners with a unique mating call produced by muscles attached to what body part? The gills? the bladder, or the mouth? And the correct answer is the bladder. Challengers, how do we do? Well done, Dorian, 100 points for you. Masterminds, how about over here? Well done, Beastie, for 100 points. I just thought that the, the male had it with the biggest bladder would be the most attractive. Maybe I'm being <laughs> silly. 
strange things occur in nature. <laughs> Thank you, Beastie. The next subject is, which came first? Which came first, Doe, Ray, or me? The Pillsbury Doughboy, Ray-Ban sunglasses, or Love Me Tender? The correct answer is Ray-Ban sunglasses. Challengers, how about this one? Oh man, no points awarded on that one. Masterminds, how about you? Oh, same. Talk to me. I went Doughboy. <laughs> I thought, you know, marketing started a lot in the early 20th century, so I thought like an advertising mascot would be an early thing, but I just have to try something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was just a, that was a very Doughboy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Well, you touch sorry, me, sir. which means... Okay, hold on, the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember the last time you did that, you ended up on my shoulder. Yes, sir. OK, thank you. <laughs> back, back, back. No points awarded there. And the next subject is rock and roll. The leader of Jane's Addiction claims he got the name for the Lollapalooza Rock Festival when he saw the word where? A Three Stooges film, the game show Password, or a Liechtenstein painting? To add 100 points to your score, the correct answer is a Three Stooges film. How'd we do, challengers? Yeah, well done for Dorian and David. 100 points apiece. Congratulations, masterminds. Muffy and Jonathan, 100 points. The thing about the story is he says he saw it in a Three Stooges film, and people have, for years, been actually searching for the film. No one has found it, so it seems like the story might be apocryphal. Very interesting. Jonathan, could you put your hand like this for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mo, join in. Mo, nothing? No? no. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. And the last subject is capitals. Home to the Palace of Holyrood House, the king's official residence in the area, what is the capital of Scotland? Aberdeen, Edinburgh, or Glasgow? And the correct answer is Edinburgh. Challengers! Yeah, well done for Philip and David. 100 points apiece. Well done. Masterminds. 100 points across the board. In the 18th century, it was one of the most enlightened cities in the world. At the same time, it's also known as Old Reeky or the Big Stink. It's cleaned its act up since. Ah. Glasgow's marginally bigger in terms of population, but Edinburgh's the capital. Thank you, Beastie. All right, that's it for round one. On our challenger side, David is in the lead with 500 points. Congratulations, sir. And on our mastermind side, Muffy's in the lead with 400. When we return, the points get higher and the questions get more difficult as we get closer to determining who will play for $10,000. More masterminds after this. Welcome back to Masterminds. In this round, both the challengers and the masterminds will write in their answers for a chance to build their score. There are five subjects and correct answers are now worth 200 points. At the end of this round, the challenger and the mastermind with the lowest scores will be eliminated. Let's play. And the first subject is anatomy. What protective outermost portion of the skin is thicker on the palms and soles than it is anywhere else? And the correct answer for 200 points is epidermis. Challengers? Yes, well done. 200 points across the board. I love it. Great start. Masterminds. 200 points for you as well. The skin is by far the largest organ in total. And on an average person, it's about, sort of weighs about eight pounds. But with the likes of David, Jonathan and me, it's probably quite a bit more. <laughs> and the next subject is marketing. A priceless series of ads claimed there are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's what? For 200 points, the correct answer is MasterCard. Challengers? Yeah, well done. Another 200 points across the board. And for our masterminds, 200 across the board over here as well. The next subject is fitness. A bicycle in which the rider's body is reclined and the legs are placed forward is known by what term? The correct answer is recumbent. Challengers? Yes, 200 points again. You guys are doing great. Masterminds, 200 for you as well. So there are ones that you can use, like a stationary indoor version, or ones that you use out on the street, but it's basically you're laying back and pedaling 
with your feet first. Sure. Which, but you're very low to the ground. It seems a bit dangerous to me. I think you need, you need like a big flag up there to be like, yeah. here I go, <laughs> I'm here. Thank you, Muffy. The next subject is Broadway. Over the course of its 18-year Broadway run, what Andrew Lloyd Webber musical used 3,247 pounds of yak hair for wigs? For 200 points, the correct answer is... Cats! Challengers, how'd we do? Yes! 200 points across the board again! Masterminds! Same for you. <laughs> The irony here is that most house cats are willing to yak up their hair for free. <laughs> Doesn't it stink? I'm sure it was freshly, freshly washed yak freshly hair. Washed but it would, take, it would take dozens of hours to make the different costumes because you have to sort of hand sew in tufts of yak oh, hair. Oh, it was washed yak hair. That changes everything. I know. <laughs> Great. Oh, All right, well done, masterminds. A very close game here on both sides, and it is time for the final question of this round. This question is now worth 400 points, and will determine who will be moving on to the next round. Here is your final subject. The subject is scientists. Mary Anning spent her whole life collecting what buried objects that may have helped influence Darwin's theories. And the correct answer for 400 points is... Fossils! Challengers, how'd we do? Well done, Philip and David. That's 400 points added to your score, which means the two of you will be moving on. And Dorian, it was wonderful to have you here. Nice job. Masterminds, how about you? Well done, Jonathan and Beastie. 400 points apiece, which means the two of you will be moving on. And Muffy, we'll see you next you time. Can. When we come back, it's challenger versus challenger and mastermind versus mastermind to determine who will compete in the ultimate trivia showdown for $10,000. More masterminds after this. Welcome back to Masterminds. It all comes down to this. Which challenger will face the top mastermind for $10,000? We're about to find out. But first, let's get to know them a little better. Philip, tell me more about your fundraising work. So I have a son with autism, and years ago, some parents and I decided to start a walk to raise money. Uh, we didn't know what we were doing, but had lots of grit. Fast forward 20 mm. years later, it's still happening, and wow. the organization has raised over $25 million. Wow, that is incredible, $25 million. Well done, good luck to you, sir, and welcome to the show. And what kind of martial arts do you do? Well, I began studying martial arts about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and I, uh, was a big fan of Bruce Lee and all of his films. And of the form that I study is called Choi Lee Foot, Kung Fu. But I am also really proficient with nunchucks. Oh, scary. Yeah. Physically dangerous. <laughs> yes. And intellectually dangerous. All right. Welcome to the show and good luck to you both. Hopefully one of you is taking home $10,000. Thanks. In this round, first the challengers and then the masterminds will face off in a timed trivia battle. The first question will be worth 500 points, and each question that follows will be worth an additional 100 points. It's anyone's game. Challengers, are you ready? Thanks. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock, please. Your time will begin when I finish reading the first question. Good luck. 500 points, the Declaration of Independence was signed in what city? Philip. Philadelphia. Correct, 600 points. The two men's wrestling styles currently in the Olympics are freestyle and what other variation? David. Greco-Roman. Correct. 700 points. In an iconic video, astronaut Chris Hadfield sang what David Bowie classic aboard the International Space Station? <phone rings> Philip. Space Oddity. Correct. 800 points. Designer Donatella ran the Versus line before taking over what fashion house from her late brother Gianni? <phone rings> David. Vers uh, Versace. Correct. 900 points. What section of Massachusetts Avenue in Washington, D.C. is named for the buildings with foreign flags seen there? <phone rings> Philip. K Street? No. David. Uh, Time, Embassy Row, 1,000 points. According to the title of his 1853 book, Solomon Northup was enslaved for how many years? <phone rings> Philip. 12. Correct, 1,100 points. What star of the prison drama Oz plays Elliot Stabler on Law & Order Organized Crime? <phone rings> David. Christopher Maloney. Correct, 1,200 points. Still used as a modern grooming treatment, ancient Egyptians used a paste of water, sugar, and lemon to remove what? <phone rings> Philip. Tattoos? No, sorry, the answer was hair. Well done, David, congratulations! 
You just won $1,000, and not only that, but the chance to play for $10,000. Philip, thank you so much for being here. Now we just have to determine which mastermind you'll be facing. Whew. All right, gentlemen, you saw how that worked. 60 seconds on the clock, same rules apply. Your time begins when I finish reading the first question. 500 points. After much back and forth, Elon Musk paid $44 billion to purchase what company in October 2022? Jonathan. Twitter. Correct. 600 points. Now made by Hasbro, what classic geometric drawing toy produces mathematical curves? Beast. It's a sketch. No. Jonathan. Uh, is it, uh, not sure. Spirograph. 700 points. From the Latin word for juice, what type of drought-resistant plants include cacti? Jonathan. Succulent. Correct. 800 points. Eleanor and Marianne Dashwood are the main characters in what Jane Austen novel? Beast. Sense and Sensibility. Correct. 900 points. Standing at 7,310 feet, Mount Kosciuszko is the highest peak on what continent? Beast. Australia. Correct. 1,000 points. What tech company markets the ThinkBook and the IdeaPad? Jonathan. Mac. No, Beast. Apple. Lenovo. 1,100 points. Gwen Verdon was the first actress to perform whatever Lola wants in what 1950s Broadway musical? Pass. Beast. Jonathan? Uh, guys and Dolls? Damn Yankees. 1,200 points before becoming first lady who taught at the Todd Hunter School for Girls in New York City? Jonathan? Jackie Onassis. No, Beast? I don't care. Eleanor Roosevelt! Congratulations, Beastie! You're tonight's top mastermind! Well done, sir. Jonathan, we'll see you next time. That means that David and the Beast will be going head-to-head -head in our ultimate trivia showdown. Can David win $10,000 and take one step closer to becoming a mastermind? Find out when we come back. Welcome back to Masterminds. David has won $1,000 and will now face the Beast in the ultimate trivia showdown for $10,000. Here's how we play. I'll read four questions to David and Beastie and they'll each write down their answers. Once the players have locked in their responses, I'll reveal the correct answers. If David gets the higher score, then he will win $10,000. That's right. Good luck to you. It is now time to find out if David can win $10,000. Let's begin. Here's your first question. 125 years after the first model was invented by its founder, what brand introduced the first electronic sewing machine? David, you answered with? Singer. Singer. Beastie, you answered with? Singer. Singer as well. And the correct answer is? Singer. Well done, David. Great start. And it's one to one. And here's your second question. At 24, who became the youngest actress to win a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series? David, you answered with? I said Susan Lucci. Susan Lucci. Beast, what did you say? Sarah Gilbert. Sarah Gilbert. And the correct answer is? Zendaya! Oh. Come on now! Lucky for us, David, Beastie didn't get that one right, so the score remains one to one. Here's your third question. In authentic Greek cuisine, tiro kafteri is a dip made with what cheese? David, what did you say? I said feta. Feta. Beastie. Feta. Feta as well. The correct answer is feta. And it's two to two going into the final question. All right, David, you know what this means. If you get the next question right and Beastie gets it wrong, you're going home with $10,000. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here is your final question. What flightless bird of New Zealand lays the largest egg of any living species relative to its body size? David, what's your answer? Emu. Emu. 
Beastie, what's yours? Sorry, mate, I said ki kiwi. Kiwi, your answers are different. David, that means if you're right and Beastie's wrong, the $10,000 is yours. And the correct answer is... Unfortunately, Kiwi! No! David, so close, nice try. You didn't quite take home the 10,000, but still, you won $1,000. You played a great game. Beastie, you're just too good. Join us next time to see who can outsmart